Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a prophetic word for someone. Someone is in a deep mess right now because they took a stupid decision. Someone is in, in a deep mess right now because they made a, a stupid decision. And this is what happened. This word is coming to someone. You are struggling right now. And... You, are, you have so much responsibility in your hands because you felt like if you, were, if you got pregnant for this person, you can get them to marry you. You thought if you could get pregnant for someone, you might force them to marry you. You might get them to marry you. That was a stupid decision. That was a very stupid decision. First, you didn't even consider your Christian work with God and whether that was the will of God for your life and whether that was something that God would be happy with. Of course, God doesn't, God is not for fornication, so he's not for children born out of wedlock. And although every child is a blessing from God, the way they come into the world matters. Secondly, you were wrong. When someone wants to be with you, they will do everything to be with you. You don't need to twist their arm. You don't need to manipulate them. You don't need to use anything to blackmail or to force them. The person I'm talking about, you intentionally got pregnant. You knew exactly what you were getting into. But your thought was that when they realize you are pregnant, they are going, they will be forced to marry you. That is the worst decision you ever took in your life. Because the consequences of that decision now, you are not only the, the person, you are not the only person suffering that. Now you have responsibility, they still denied you at the end of the day. Now you have extra responsibility in your hands because you have to take care of a child or children by yourself. Your future is complicated because to see someone that loves you and loves those, those kids the same way they love you or love the kids like their own, it's not easy to find that. Thirdly, you are, you are under pressure from life, from the children, every time you are getting in and out of depression because of what you found yourself in, because of everything you had to go through. It started with a wrong decision. Before you think of taking a decision, this is just an advice now to us. Before you take a decision, evaluate the consequences of that decision. Yes, this decision has the potential to, bring, to give me what I want, but what are the consequences? What are the negative consequences of this decision I'm taking? And what if what I'm hoping to, 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 to receive out of it, what if it doesn't work? Will this decision I'm taking, will it be worth it? These are the questions you failed to answer. And that's where you failed. But I pray that God sends you someone your way who is going to love you and love those kids as if they were their own in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God gives you a second chance to correct all your mistakes. I pray that God takes care of your kids, that God makes provision, and that God be there for you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.